Ow. Nick my shoulder, you bastard. The safer way to approach most enemies, in my experience, is to try to get behind them and get critical hits on them. Because parrying is not super reliable. If you're not good at it. I mean, it it is reliable. It's just, if you're bad, like me, then you'll probably die a lot trying to parry. It, it's just the way it works. We can kill this guy without parrying him. I mean, it's, it's, it's doable, obviously, but... Eh? Whoop. Whack. And there we go. Now we have four Estus Flasks. I think we have a little sliver of health we can work with. We're going to go through this here fog door and see what awaits us on the other side. Willing our weapon in two hands. Oh, look, we're right above the bastard. Plunging attack! <laughs> Alright, now we have all the tools we need to kill this motherfucker. Ow! Hey. Eh. No. Oh, he is going to wipe the floor with me, isn't he? <laughs> oh my god. Burn, bitch! Huh? Huh? Eh. God damn it. He might kill me, I don't know. Oh my god! Back up, back up, back up, fatty. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I should probably not be locked onto him, to, to be honest here. Uh... Okay, that was that was good move for me. That helped. Woo. Okay. Nyeh, fireball. Nyeh, fireball. Oh god! Swish out of the way and fireball to death. Watcha! Victory achieved. The big pilgrim's key. I made that look like a hard boss, didn't I? Yep. First boss in the game. Make it look like a hard boss. This is off to a great start. Sart. Did I say sart or start? I don't know. Eh. Good job. Go straight ahead. Thank you, tutorial level. Alright. Before we go straight ahead, we're actually going to explore a little bit off to the left here. Let me go down. And... Grab that soul of lost undead. Mm-hmm. And come back on up here and over here. And we are going to take note of that bird nest as it is very important. For unforeseen reasons, we do not know why it is important just yet, but we will find out later. And we're going to walk off this cliff. Only. Ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. In Lordran, level up and kindle at bonfires. Welcome to Firelink Shrine, our home for the rest of the game. You don't really know that straight up being here, but you learn later, and very quickly I might add, that this is your home for the rest of the game. Let's see, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put points in these two stats, Endurance and Strength. And we're going to put these two points in rather evenly at first, I think. I think I'm going to build strength up to about, maybe, i put one more point in it, and then I'm going to go Endurance. And eventually we're going to need to wield a bow, so I might have to put some points in Dexterity. But these three stats here 
are the only stats we're going to be leveling up. Period. We're going to ignore resistance. We're going to ignore intelligence, faith, attunement, and vitality. I'm just going to not even worry about any of those. Actually, no, I lied. I might put some points in vitality. I don't know yet. But endurance is definitely the most important thing ever. Because the word for the day is poise. We need all the poise we can get because poise is really good to have. Yup. And now that we're in Lordran, we can continue our quest. Let's talk uh, to this guy over here. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> it is indeed why we came here, Mr. Crestfallen Warrior. It's also very important that you talk to everyone in this game. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Uh, good. Anyway. Crestfallen Warrior is actually a pretty uh, common character in these Dark Souls games. He's uh, in a lot of them. I'm, I'm not sure if... Is that the Crestfallen Warrior? I don't, know if, I don't remember. Anyway. Um, let's explore around Firelink Shrine for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Who's this priesty guy here? Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Uh, well, mm, nah, I'd like to keep talking to you. You seem like an interesting character with an interesting hairstyle. That looks kind of like a, um, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? I, I'll say cheeseburger. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. A copper coin. I don't know what that does. What does copper coin do? Um, is that over here? Copper, copper coin. I don't, I don't remember what copper coin. What does that do? This is maddening. Oh, there it is. Copper coin of all the men. Okay. Um. Toggle display. Coin made of copper. His face shows, shows God of mess and drink. Even coins of great value. Uh, well, then I have little value in Lordran, where the accepted currency is souls. Those who dream of returning to the outside world are fond of carrying of these around. Okay. So it's just the memory of the outside world, then. Because in Lordran, everything operates off of souls. You need souls, son. Oh, my. You again. Yeah, I like oh, you. I know. How about this? I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yes. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Join the covenant? Yeah! Covenant established. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Okay. So this guy can teach us a gesture, first of all. The shrug gesture. Which are uh, helpful in PvP, as you can communicate with people very quickly using gestures. Um, but he sells a bunch of miracles. 
which are faith-based spells, and we're not going to have any faith for a long time, so this is pretty much useless to us, but hey. Okay, that's fine. Come again. So, he's a cool guy, and that's basically all we need to know about him. Also, the appropriate way to break pots is by rolling into them. Never, ever, ever break a pot like this. Bad things happen when you break pots by hitting them with a weapon. Just don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Don't, don't be that guy.